He's over here, so your heads. <coughs> Face the phone. One, two, and a here and there, and a get them on in, gonna make you square. Y'all get to decide who the heads are going to be. I would think this wall behind me ought to be head wall, but y'all can make a decision on your own. All righty, everybody got a partner in a corner. Yellow Rock, your corner. Go. You bow to your partners, you turn and bow to your corner, two heads square through, and you count me, four hands round and go. Do a do -si do with the outside too. You star through, I got lines up to the middle, and you come on back past the ocean. All eight circulate, swing through, go two by two. Boys run right around, one girl and a couple circulate one time. Chain down the line, ladies lead Dixie style. Gonna make your wave, boys trade. Take a peek and trade your wave. You swing through, then the boys run around a brand new girl, Ferris wheel. New centers pass through, do an Alabama left, then a right and left grand. Well, every other girl and every other hand, right and left go round the ring. Promenade when you meet, gonna take her back home, all back home, and you got her back there, all back home. You got your square sides up to the middle, and you come on back, sides past the ocean. Ping pong circulate, ping pong circulate, extend, swing through. Then the boys run around a brand new girls, girls hinge, check a diamond, diamond circulate. Now cut your diamonds. All the couples circulate one time, chain down the line, will you turn yours and out, turn mine the line before you go up to the middle, then you come on back, touch a quarter, coordinate. Now the couples circulate one time, do a half tag, scoot back, go boys. Hinge your quarter, fan the top, girl left, all the boys move up, to the right and left through, and you turn right here, flutter wheel. Whoop, whoop. You're gonna pass through and you bend your line. Load the boat. Touch quarter. Split circulate. Boy, run around the girls. You're gonna pass through and you bend your line. Star through. You're gonna veer to the left and a couple of circulate. One time and a bend it, move it. Eight to the middle and you come on back. Star through. You pass through, do an Alabama left. Then a right and a left grand. Well, every other girl in every other hand, that was the wrong corner, wasn't it? Promenade when you meet. Keep promenading. Don't stop at home. Keep moving. Sides wheel around. You get a line up and back star through. You pass through, do an Alabama left this corner. Promenade and take her back home. <laughs> Ladies chain straight across. Chain her back. Head ladies center teacup chain. Sides up to the middle, then they come on back. Sides lead to the right, veer to the left. Now the couples circulate one time. Crossfire. Circulate once. Boy, run. Veer right. Good choice. Couples circulate one time. You're gonna bend your lines up to the middle, then they come on back. Pass through to the wheel and deal. New centers pass through, star through. Now pass the ocean. All eight circulate. Swing through. Boy, run around the girls. 
And a couple will circulate one time You're gonna bend your lines up to the middle And to come on back Pass through to the wheel and deal New centers pass through to an Alabama left Then a right and left grand Well, every other girl and every other hand Right and left go round the ring Promenade when you meet Gonna get her back home, all back home And you got her back there, all back home You bow to your partners You turn and bow to your corners All righty
Hi, I hope there's some Nauticon attendees standing back there somewhere. Um, this year, Nauticon has made a baby's welcome, children welcome. So some of them might be looking for more family-oriented activities, but as we'll talk about later, square dancing isn't just for families. And I... This is just one example of one of the babies you'll see running around out here. This one happens to be our granddaughter. <laughs> um, one of the things that I wanted to show you of children dancing, I gotta get out of here a second. Okay. <laughs> now, if this works, it didn't upstairs using the town. And I have my sound off, so just a second here. We were having tip technical difficulties getting set up. So I'm going to back that up a little bit. This is a group from Muskegon, Michigan. They range in age from 5 to 18. They do clogging as part of their square dancing. Um, this was taken at one of the national conventions, and somebody posted it online. The older man who's calling died last summer. So as part of the 50th National Convention in Detroit, they had a special memory situation for them, for him, and they had the parents of a lot of these children who were also in the group when they were little who participated, and they had a very large group that performed. Um, that was, okay, it was at Charlotte. I forgot where it was at the National there. Our to caller this evening is Tom Strickland. We have clubs representative. <laughs> all the, the caller and all the dancers are from the Cleveland area, except us. We've never danced with any of these people, but as you could see, if you were watching, there's we all took the same lessons, so we all know the same calls, and it shouldn't be a problem. There's some of the flourishes, though, that we had no idea what the rest of our square was doing. <laughs> Whoops. Okay, it didn't pause again. Okay, that was our dem demo, then. That was our demo, which was supposed to come a little later, but we decided to change it. But back to the local clubs that are represented are the Brexville Squares, uh, would you like to stand up? Yay! <laughs> Buckeye Squares. <laughs> Cleveland City Country Dancers. <laughs> the Cloverleaf Squares, which is a 4-H group. And I would say probably a few of the leaders, right? <laughs> the Lake Erie Squares. Is it Medina or Medina? I always get that wrong. And Medina Squares. And Solo Squares. Did I miss anybody? No? Okay. Um, let's I must have skipped a couple of them while I was turned around. All right. I was planning to do this while we were up there, but Tom already kind of explained it. Those are two yellow rocks we found in Detroit outside a restaurant. And I wanted to explain to everybody else that yellow rock is also a square dance call. Show them. Come on, show them what yellow rock is. Just grab somebody. <laughs> Thank you. 
Um, okay. While we're taking a break, normally during a regular dance, we would sit and chat, have some snacks, which kind of defeats the exercise part of it, but it increases the social time. Um, this time you're going to be given some information about square dancing, about the background of it, and just whatever we can come up with. All right, now I started to, maybe we'll get back in order. All right, a little about us. My husband's going to explain how he got into square dancing. Well, I basically started out with traditional square dancing at 4-H. And then about 1959, or a little bit later than that, when we had a club formed in our area, I joined that. And then later, I met this gal here, and we got married. And then a couple years later, I said, would you like to square dance? So I had her take lessons. And no, said, back up a second. And I said, you want to do what? <laughs> <laughs> and anyway, we got to a point, I said, when you go to lessons and you get to a point and you come home, tell me something that I haven't done, leave me know and I'll have to start. Well, about the third week, I had to take lessons too because everything had been thrown in at that time. There was no uh, plus and advance and challenge. It was all mainstream. Um, by the way, at that point, we also had a daughter, and I will embarrass her by stating she's sitting right back there in a pink jacket. <laughs> There's more. <laughs> there were more kids later. We'll get into that next. Um, I asked Tom if he would also tell us something about what he did and how he got into it. All right, well, most of you know my story. Um, <laughs> when my family, when I was young, five, six, seven, eight years old, we camped. That was all our weekends. Every weekend, Dad would get home from work, we'd pack all the bikes in the camper, and we'd go camping. Well, it happened to be one weekend. We got out there on a Friday, unpacked all the bikes, and ran around the campground. And Dad ran into a guy that he knew from work and said, hi, and how you doing? And well, they kept right on on their walk. And later on that afternoon, that evening after dinner, dad decided, hey, why don't we walk over and see what they're doing over at their other campground, see the folks that he knew from work, sit around the campfire and talk a little bit. So we all walked over there to see this guy. Their camper was locked up tight, their car was gone, and there was nobody there. So, you know, okay, well, Next morning, Dad gets up, walks over, and finds the guy, and says, hey, we came over last night, and you weren't here. You know, what happened? What, did something happen? Did you have to go home? And they were like, oh, no, we drove back home so we could go to score dance lessons. And, of course, in Dad's mind, that was, you know, why would you go camping just to turn around and drive back home again? Well, then they realized that, you know, square dancing was that good of a draw. And this guy actually got Dad to go out to a score dance lesson, which was amazing, because... Dad didn't, wasn't much of a dancer <laughs> until he started square dancing. Um, <clears throat> but once he got into it, he got into it wholeheartedly. For those of you that are here, you all know that. Uh, <laughs> they danced, and once Mom and Dad started dancing, they started because we still camped. We'd go to square dance camping weekends. And the three of us kids from knee-high to however were expected to go and sit along the sidelines and watch the square dancers and not run around the campground and cause havoc. <laughs> so finally, my older brother and sister decided that if we have to be here, we might as well learn how to dance. So about two years after mom and dad started dancing, my sister and brother started dancing. And I was happy to sit along the sidelines and play my little Game Boy and ignore them all, listen to the music. Well, about the time my brother got ready to graduate from high school, he decided he was going to join the Navy, and my sister was going to be left without a partner. So she turned to me and said, you're going to learn to dance. <laughs> and I looked up at her and said, I don't want to. And she said, so what? So I ended up dancing. And it's I, the year that was, I was, oh my goodness, I must have been 12, the year that I started dancing. And by the time I was 13, I started calling. Because the music, I've been sitting along for five years watching it, knew all the calls, knew all the names, knew most of the movements, just didn't know which one went with what. Once I learned that, 
the rest of it all just kind of fell into place. And I've been doing this for 24 years now and loving every minute of it. So I'm 37. <laughs> yeah, started at 13. Okay, he became a caller. We dropped out for a while, um, 21 years to be exact. When we found out we were expecting child number three, it was like, I don't know if we can go dancing and hire a sitter. And then when she came along, she really wouldn't stay with a sitter. Um, as you all, the dancers, I think, all know, this is not a con. Not a con was founded by Jody and Paul Schneider. They weren't that at the time, but they are now. And Jody happens to be that third child. She's wandering around here because she's got so much to do. And she also has our newest granddaughter, the one that was in that first picture. In the meantime, we have joined the Michigan, or have become members of the Michigan Council, which includes about 60 clubs, I think, at this point. We were also on the board for the 60th National Square Dance Convention in Detroit. And at this point, we were going to have another demo, but I think we're going to skip to the audience participation. I know there's, there's not too many in here, but we're going to grab you and make you come join us. Okay? All right, come on down. We'll get you started. <laughs> Come on, we'll teach you we'll teach you everything you need to do. Come on down. We gotta have you. Everything you need to learn. If you know right and left, we can teach you to score dance. We'll give you night one. Come on in, we'll teach you what you need to do. Get you a bunch of folks. Bring them in from the hallway. There you go. Here we go. This is where we're going to start from. Everybody's got eight dancers in your square, four couples. The boys on the left-hand side, the girls on the right-hand side. Everybody turn and face your partner. Introduce yourself to your partner if you don't know who they are. There you go. Now, in your set, those of you with your backs towards me, I'm the caller. My name's Tom. Raise your hands, please, if you have your backs towards me. Your back toward me. There you go. You guys are the number one couple. Put your hands down. Perfect. You're the number one couple. Now, we, from the number one couple, we then work counterclockwise around our square. So the couple to their right, you guys are couple number two. The couple directly across from them or facing me or the wall behind me, you guys are number three. And the couple to their left, you guys are couple number four. The spot that you're standing in, the one, two, three, or four spot on the dance floor is known as your home position. So when we ask you to go home, this is where we want you to go to. We don't want you to run out, get in your car, and leave. All right, this is the spot we want you to come back to when we ask you to go home. Now, once again, everybody turn and face your partner. With your partner, facing your partner, what I want you to do is I want you to pass right shoulders with your partner. Without turning around, I want you to slide back to back with your partner. Then I want you to back up to pass left shoulders with your partner, and you'll be facing your partner again. Perfect. What you've just done is what we call a do-si-do. -si -do. 
Do a dosey do with your partner. Pass right shoulders, back to back, back up to pass left shoulders. Perfect. Now, if you will turn your back on your partner, the dancer on the other side of you in your square, this is your corner. Say hi, corner. Hi. With your corner, do a dosey do. Pass right shoulders with your corner, slide back to back with your corner, back up to pass left shoulders. Perfect. Now, with your corner, what I want you to do is I want you to reach out and shake left hands. So reach out and take left hands with this corner coming at you. There you go. Now that you've got left hands with them, I want you to slide that left hand up toward their elbow. This means you have to take, this is a short arm grip. Yes, this means you have to get closer to them. With this left-handed short arm grip, what I want you to do is I want you to walk all the way around your corner until you find your partner again. As soon as you see your partner, drop hands with your corner, step forward, face your partner. There she is, right here, face your partner, perfect. What you've just done with your corner is what we call an alamand left. Turn around, face your corner again. Hello, corner. With your corner, do an alamand left. Left hand, short arm, all the way around, back to your partner. With your partner, perfect, there we go. Now we're gonna do one more move here before we get all the names around. Everybody's facing your partner, reach out and shake right hands with your partner. With this right hand, I want you to do a right hand pull by. Reach out with a left hand directly in front of you. Do a left hand pull by with this next person. Then a right hand pull by with the third one. Then a left hand pull by with number four. Keep going. And you'll find your original partner on the other side of the square. What you've just done is what we call a right and left grand. Four pull bys, right, left, right, left. It takes you all the way around your square, and it brings you back to the very same dancer that you originally started with. Hopefully, that was your partner. Now that you've found your partner, gentlemen, you're facing counterclockwise, or what we call line of dance. Ladies, you're still facing your partner. What we need you to do is we're all going to promenade line of dance or counterclockwise. So the boys are already looking that direction. Ladies, what I need you to do is I would like you to stand on this boy's right-hand side, turn around to face the same direction as him, take hands with him, and we're all going to promenade counterclockwise around our square until we get back to our original home, one, two, three, or four spot, wherever it is that you started. Once you get there, square your sets. Perfect. You're done. Now, one more time. Everybody turn to face your corner. Hello, corner. Do an alamand left with your corner. Left hand, short arm, back to your partner. Do a do -si do with your partner. Go back to back. Go back to your corner. Do an alamand left. And then do a right and left grand. It's a right pull by, left pull by with the next, right pull by, left pull by. You'll find your partner. Put her on your right. Promenade her back home, counterclockwise around your square. Once you get back to your original home position, you square your sets. Perfect. Are you ready to do it with music? We're going to pretend like we're professionals. Here we go. You bow to your partner. You turn and bow to your corner to join hands, circle to the left. Yeah, I didn't teach you that part. Circle to the right till you get back home. Face your corner. Do an Alabama left with your corner. With your partner, do -si do go back to back, don't touch. Go back to your corner, do an alaman left. Then a right and left grand, a right pull by, then a left with two, then a right, then a left. Promenade with your partner, put her on your right, and then you take her back home. So far, so good. Join hands, circle to the left around that ring, circle to the left, start with your corner. Do an alaman left with your corner. There she is. Do a do -si do with your partner, back to back. Go back to your corner, alaman left. Then a right and left grand. Right, left is two. Right, left. Promenade with your partner all the way around. So far, so good. All right. Now, up to this point, we've all learned promenade. We've just done it. You go counterclockwise around your square till you get back to your final destination, which in this case is your home position. This time, dancers one and three. You remember who you are? Couples one and three. You guys are known as the head couples. So when I ask the heads to do something, I want both couples one and three to do whatever it is that we ask. Couples two and four, you guys are known as the side couples. So when we ask the sides to do something, we want both couples two and four to do whatever it is we ask. Now, from here, we've all already done promenade. You and your partner got to go counterclockwise around our square. We're going to have just the head two couples promenade. Now, the problem with that is you're already home. You need a destination. 
We're going to have you promenade from your head position to the opposite head position. We're going to have you promenade halfway around the square. All right? And to do that and to make it a little bit simpler, let's have the side couples step into the middle. You and your partners get into the middle, get out of their way. Now, heads, you don't have quite so far to walk when you go around behind them. Head couples promenade counterclockwise around the outside of your square to the opposite head position. Once you get to the opposite head position, the sides can back out to their original home spots, and the head two couples have traded from one head position to the opposite head position while the sides are still in their original locations. We can do the very same thing with the side two couples. If we have the side couples promenade half, all of our heads are going to step into the middle so they don't have quite so far to walk around behind you, and the side couples are going to promenade from one side position to the opposite side position. Sides promenade half. Heads go to the middle, give them a little room behind you. Once you get out from behind them, you can back up into that original spot. And yeah, you do get to make a little bit of noise when you're in the middle of that square. <laughs> One more time, side couples promenade halfway. There you go. Head couples promenade halfway. Join hands, circle to the left around that ring, circle to the left. Do an Alabama left. And a right and left grand, right pull by, then a left, then a right, then a left. Promenade when you meet your partner, take her back home all the way around. Side couples promenade halfway, heads step into the middle, sides go behind them. There you are. Head couples promenade halfway, sides in the middle, heads promenade to the other side. Join hands, circle the left around that ring, circle the left around and go. Do an Alabama left with your corner. Promenade with your partner. You're close. All right. Let's do one more before we give you a break here. Let's have all the head couples step into the middle of the square. Working with the dancer directly in front of you, reach out and shake right hands. With that right hand, I would like you to do a right hand pull by. Simply pull straight past. You'll end up facing out in the opposite head position. You're still looking out of your square. Now, head boys, you have a lady on your right hand side. What I want you to do is I want you to take your left hand, place it palm up in front of this lady on your right. So boys, put your left hand up, palm up in front of this lady. Ladies, palm up, palm toward the ceiling. There it is. There, perfect. In front of that lady. Ladies, place your left hand palm down on his left hand. There you go. Ladies, take your right hand, place it palm out right here on the small of your back. Gentlemen, reach around her waist, place your hand on her hand. There you go. Boys, you're going to turn this girl. She's going to go forward. You're going to back up. The two of you will turn halfway around. It's called a courtesy turn. Do a courtesy turn if you haven't already done it. We're all facing back into the center of the square. Perfect. One more time. Let's have the heads step into the middle. Do a right hand pull by. And do a courtesy turn. Left hands together, right hands on her back. You turn her, she goes forward, you back up. Two of you turn halfway around. Perfect. Sides, step into the middle. Working with the dancer directly in front of you, take right hands, do a right hand pull by. Left hands up, boys, in front of this girl. Girls, left hand on his hand, right hand on the small of your back. Gentlemen, put your hand on her hand. You will turn her. She will go forward. You will back up. The two of you turn halfway around. Do a courtesy turn if you haven't already done it. And most of you know what you're doing, so I assume you've done this before. At least Grandma will tell you how to get there, right? <laughs> so we'll work that a little bit faster. Now, the combination of these two movements, the right hand pull by followed by the courtesy turn. Come on in and watch. We'll let you. <laughs> There's plenty of seats. Come on in. The, the right hand pull by followed by the courtesy turn actually has one name. We call that combination a right and left through. And all of these movements that we've done for you here, all of these things that we're going to demonstrate are built on very simple movements such as pull bys and turns. We put those pull bys and turns in a particular order. We give them a name. And when I give you that name, it's then your job to recall what order those movements have to be, have to be returned and done in so that the calls can be done correctly. So from here, instead of me saying sides do a right hand pull by and then saying sides do a courtesy turn, I'm simply going to say sides do a right and left through and it's your job to know that right and left through means I first pull by, then turn. So sides do a right and left through. Go. Sides. Now they're back home. I'll give you a chance in a minute. All right. Heads do a right and left through. First a pull by, then a turn. There it is. One more time. Heads do a right and left through. 
Join hands, circle to the left. Do an Alaman left with your corner. And a right and left grand, right, left, right, left. Keep going, she'll find her on the other side. Promenade when you meet her, take her back home. Head couples promenade halfway. Heads walk into a right and left through heads. Pull by with a turn. Sides promenade halfway. Go around the outside. Sides do a right and left through sides. Join hands, circle the left. Do an Alabama left with your corner. Promenade with your partner, take her back home. All right, here we go. One more, and that'll probably be all we work with here for the afternoon. Side two ladies. If you will step into the middle and take right hands with each other. With that right hand, I would like you to do a right hand pull by, but don't let go of that right hand when you go look at that boy on the opposite side. Ladies, you have a left hand free. I want you to put that left hand out. Boys, reach out, give her your left hand. As soon as you get left hands with this boy, ladies, drop that right hand, place that right hand on the small of your back because that boy's going to slide in there and courtesy turn you all the way around to face back into the center of our square. What we've just done is a two ladies chain. In this case, it happened to be the side two ladies that got the chain. Everybody else in the square is in their exact same location, but the side two ladies have traded from one side of the square to the opposite side of the square. Now we're going to send them back. Side two ladies chain. Right hands with each other. Boy, give her a left hand. Right hand on her back. Courtesy turner all the way around. Perfect. Head two ladies. Step into the middle, take right hands with each other. Right hand pull by. Head boys, give this girl a left hand. As soon as she gets to your left hand, she's going to put her right hand on the small of her back. Slide in there, courtesy turn her all the way around until you end up facing back into the center of the square. And our head ladies have traded from one head boy to the opposite head boy. Everybody else is in the same spot they started. One more time. Head two ladies chain straight across. Give that girl a left hand, courtesy turn her all the way around. Face back into the middle of the square. Perfect. Side two ladies chain straight across. Rights with each other, left with the boy. Boy courtesy turner all the way around. Head two ladies chain straight across. Right with each other, left with the boy. Courtesy turn that girl all the way around. Perfect. This time, all four ladies step into the middle. Put a right hand up and make a right hand star. You're going to turn this star one half until you get back to that boy on the opposite side of the square. Star straight across to that original partner who will then reach in with a left hand and courtesy turn you all the way around. That is a four ladies chain all the way. Here we go. Heads promenade halfway. Heads do a right and left through. Pull by with a courtesy turn. Head ladies chain straight across. Perfect. Side couples promenade halfway. Sides do a right and left through. Side ladies chain straight across. Turner. All four ladies chain straight across. Star in the middle. Original partner turns you. Join hands. Circle to the left around that ring. Circle to the left. Do an Alabama left. Then a right and left grand. Right pull by. Then a left. Then a right. Then a left. Promenade with your partner, take her back home. You bow to your partners, you turn and bow to your corners. Thank everybody in your square. Very good job. Give them a hand, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Now, square dancing is one of the odd dancing in the, the thing about, odd thing about square dancing. No matter where you learn to square dance, square dancing is done in English all over the world. So if you're dancing in the United States, if you're dancing in Canada, if you're dancing in Japan, if you're dancing in Germany, it's all done in English. So wherever you go, an Alamand left is an Alamand left. You don't have to know the Japanese word for left to be able to do it. It's all done. You may not be get through the accent, but what they're actually telling you is still Alamand left and promenade and right and left grand. It's all done in English all over the world. I was going to kind of mention that later, but since he already well, did. <laughs> yeah. um, as, when he talks about the people in Japan calling in English, we were in uh, Louisville for the 59th National Convention, and a caller there had received an award. 
He was from Japan. He needed a translator because he didn't understand English. And yet he was a square dance caller and we danced to him later without too much difficulty. Thanks. I was going to get into a little bit about modern square dancing, modern Western square dancing, Western square dancing, they're all kind of interchangeable, as opposed to the traditional square dancing, which Joe mentioned earlier and some of you may have been involved in at some point. Um, I said on here they're the same but different. And I've gone into some of the explanations of why. In the traditional, there's usually a limited number of calls and they may differ from one area to another. So, like we're from Michigan, it could be in traditional dancing, we might come to Ohio and not be able to dance with them without sitting there and watching for a while to find out what they're actually doing. Um, okay. They often use live music. I didn't notice, what are you using? Computers. The it's all MP3s. MP3s, okay. There are some that use records, but seldom will you go to a Western style square dance and find live music. But if you go to a traditional dance, it's almost always live music, they'll have a band. I think the other self-explanatory. Um, yeah, I already did that one. <laughs> oh, another thing about the traditional dances, though, that I'm not even sure I included on here, they often do what they call visiting couple, where the first couple will do something with the second couple, and then with the third couple, and then with the fourth couple, and then they go home, and the second couple will do whatever, the same movements with the third couple, the fourth couple, and the first couple. So if you are new to that, your best bet's get in a fourth couple position because by the time it gets to you, it's been the same thing over and over and over again. So you should be able to do it. With Western style square dancing, if you haven't taken the lessons, you're not gonna be able to dance <laughs> as some of those may have found out already up here. Okay, um, some of, yeah, I guess that was the next thing. Okay, um, I had mentioned about the families and having the children there and whatever. There's other categories, if you will, of clubs and other organizations. There's some that are directed at singles. Now, if you're a married couple, they're not gonna say you can't come, but most of the members of that club may be single people. There's also some for teens, like the 4-H club is probably more directed toward the teens, because normally when you're 18 or 19, you're 18, then you can't be in 4-H anymore, so I guess you graduate to another club, or do you keep them? You keep them. Good. <laughs> um, Tom had mentioned camping. There are some groups of square dancers who love to go camping, so they'll combine the two, and that happens quite often. There are clubs for gays, and I did come across one picture of eight men who were dancing together, or at least in the picture together. Um, for either way, doesn't matter. And those clubs are not exclusive to them either. If you wanna go to one and have a good time, you're always welcome. Um, there are some resorts and travel destinations that cater to square dancing. There are exhibition groups, and there are handicapable groups. And I think this is where I have that other little video, which I need to get to here. This is a group that performs at national conventions. Some of them are having difficulty seeing. I'm sorry these aren't better videos, but they're on YouTube. In this case, the caller is quite willing to instruct them in the middle of their dancing. If somebody's gotten out of spot, you know, Jeff, you need to be over there. And I don't know if that's any of that in this part. Oh, that's 
seem to have two. I'm just using the standard old picture viewer, so that's why I have to change some settings every once in a while. Do you want to do another demo? Okay. Um, one thing I didn't mention in case anybody didn't notice, there's water over here on the table for the dancers and anybody else that needs water, like me. Everybody got a corner. Here we go. Circle left. Oh, every night I hope and pray a dream lover will come my way. Left aisle of band, then do a do see do Left aisle of band, your corner, weave the ring because I won't. A girl, swing your lady promenade the world. I want a dream lover so I don't have to dream alone. Head square through, count me four hands and go. You find your corner, gonna do a little do -si do Swing through, spin the top. Boys move up, do the right and left through. Square through. Three quarter go, swing your corner promenade her home. I wanna dream lover, so I don't have to dream alone. Head square through, four hands and go. It look good. Find your corner, then do a little do -si do Swing through, boys run right. Ferris wheel go once around tonight. The centers pass through, touch a quarter, scoot back. Swing your corner, promenade like that. I want a dream lover, so I don't have to dream alone. Circle left. Every night I hope and pray a dream lover will come my way. Left aisle of band, then do a do -si do Left aisle of band, your corner, weave the ring. Because I want a girl Swing that lady promenade the world I want a dream lover So I don't have to dream alone Sights promenade Go halfway, go round Walk in past the ocean Extend Swing through Spin your top Boys move up Do the right and left through Square through, three-quarter go. Swing your corner, promenade back home. I want a dream lover, so I don't have to dream alone. Sight square through, count me four hands and go. You find your corner, you're going to do a little do -si do Swing through, boys run right. Ferris wheel go once around tonight. Centers pass through, touch your quarter, scoot back. Swing your corner, promenade like that. I want a 
dream lover so I don't have to dream alone. Circle left. Oh, every night I hope and pray a dream lover will come my way. Left Alabama, then do a do si do. Left Alabama, your corner, weave the ring because I want a girl. Swing that lady promenade the world. I want a dream lover so I don't have to dream alone. Swing her now, I want a dream lover so I don't have to dream alone. All right, stir them up. We're going to do another one. You ready, Tom? <laughs> All right. Sides face. Grand square. I met her on a Monday and my heart stood still. They do run, run, run. They do run, run. Somebody told me that her name was Jill. They do run, run, run. They do run, run. Four ladies priming, they go inside the rain. You get back home swinging all promenade. And when I walked her home, they do run, 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 they do run, run. The head square through, count me four hands and go. You find your corner and you do a little do -si do Look her in the eye, star through. They go forward, up, and back. You pass through, bend the line, load the boat. Yeah, she looks so fine. Swing that corner, lady, promenade her in time. And when I walked her home, they do run, 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 they do run, run. The head square through, count me four hands and go. You find your corner and you do a little do-si-do. -do. Look her in the eye, star her through. Go forward, up and back. Pass through, bend the line. Load the boat. Yeah, she looks so fine. Swing that corner, lady, promenade her in time. And when I walked her home, they do run, run, run. They side space, grand square. Swinging on promenade. And when I walked her home, they do run, 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 they do run, run. Side square through, count me four hands and go. You find your corner and you do a little do -si do Look her in the eye, star through. Forward, up, and back. Pass through, bend the line. Load the boat. Yeah, she looks so fine. Swing that corner, lady, promenade her in time. And when I walked her home, they do run, 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 they do run, run. Side square through, count me four hands and go. You find your corner and you do a little do -si do Look her in the eye, star her through. Go forward, up and back. Pass through, bend the line. Load the boat. Yeah, she looks so fine. Swing your corner, lady, promenade her in time. And when I walked her home, they do run, run, run. They side space, grand square. I met her on a Monday and my heart stood still. They do run, run, run. They do run, run. Somebody told me that her name was Jill. They do run, run, run. They do run, run. Four boys promenade go inside the rain. You get back home swinging all promenade. And 
when I walked her home. They do run, run, run. They do run, run. Swinger do run, run, run. They do run, run. They do run, run, run. They do run, run. I had mentioned some national conventions before. At the height of square dancing, when there were the most people involved, there was almost 40,000 people who attended the one in Anaheim, California. Of course, I understand that one of the after parties was at Disneyland. Might have had something to do with it. <laughs> in Louisville, two years ago, there was six, almost 6,300. Detroit last year, only 3737. All year, and for the previous four or five years, we kept fighting, we're not going to Detroit. It's not safe. We're not going to Detroit. We're not going to Detroit. Already, which I had here on another slide, um, there's about 6,500 pre-registered to go to Spokane, Washington. Apparently, they're not afraid of Spokane. Modern Western square dancing is divided into levels, which you kind of mentioned a little bit. Uh, mainstream is part of what we've been doing here. The first lessons are all going to be mainstream, and you learn about 69 calls. Now, it might sound like a lot, but you'll find that a lot of them are combinations of things you just learned. The plus calls then go from number 70 to about 100. Above that, you have several advanced levels, and then even more challenge levels. Most of us never even get to advanced, but we try. Western square dancing, or square dancing in general, has been declared the official dance in a lot of states, and some of them even have special license plates. Look at me. Uh, the ones that are on here are Missouri, Maryland, West Virginia, Washington, and North Carolina. Michigan has had one, and I think a couple other states have as well. Yeah, Pennsylvania, okay. But these were the ones I found pictures of. If you don't have a picture online, you're not going to get in here. Oh, we started out with an extra one. Just some more audience participation. Well, we'll grab a few out of the halls again. We're going to have another audience participation, so grab somebody and go out in the hall if need be and find them. Come on down. We'll teach you everything you need to know. Come on in. You can do it. That's not a prerequisite, though. <laughs> We'll get you through it. Well, I'm not, but maybe. Is he is he calling for help? Is that <laughs> Come on down, we need some dancers. Come on in, we'll teach you everything you need to know. If you if you know right and left and can walk, we'll get you through the rest of it. So Give me this. Ladies and gentlemen, come on. If the if the she male from Doom can do this, come on, get up here. <laughs> come on down. One, two, and eight, two, 
pair in the middle in the front. We need two more, and here comes one. We need one pair in the middle in the front. We need one more. Come on down. Come on in. We need one more group. One more. One, two, we need one pair over here, over there. We need one more, gonna fill your floor. One couple in the front, we need one pair. Come on down in here and there, come on in. Couple couples in the back, they need to fill another one. We need three more couples, even if they're just advanced, plus couples, come on out. Couple couples, fill them up. We need one more couple in the middle, in the back. We need one pair in the middle, in a go, in a here and there. We got them. All right. All right, here we go. We're going to start all over just like we did the last time. So we've got all of our squares together, boys on the left, girls on the right. If you don't know who your partner is, turn, face your partner, introduce yourself to your partner. Hello, partner. All right, those of you with your backs toward me, I'm the caller. My name's Tom. Raise your hands, please. You guys are couple number one. We then work our way counterclockwise around our square. The couple to their right, you guys are couple number two. The couple directly across from them are facing me. You guys are couple number three. And those of you with your backs toward the room, you guys are couple number four. Now, the spot that you're standing in is known as your home position. Your one, two, three, or four spot is your home position. So, when we ask you to come back home, this is where we want you to go. Everybody turn to face your partner. Hi, partner. With your partner, what I want you to do is I want you to pass right shoulders with your partner. Without turning around, back up to pass, the back up a little bit. Without turning around, slide back to back, back up to pass left shoulders and come back and face your partner again. I can almost say that. What you've just done is what we call a do -si do From here, do a do -si do with your partner. Pass right shoulders, slide back to back, back up to pass left shoulders, come back to your partner. Perfect. Turn your back on your partner. The dancer on the other side of you is your corner. Introduce yourself to your corner. Try not to fall off of those heels, please. <laughs> Introduce yourself to your corner. Hi, corner. What I want you to do, do a do -si do with your corner. Pass right shoulders, slide back to back, back up to pass left shoulders, and you'll be looking at your corner again. You've just done a do -si do Perfect. With your corner, reach out and shake left hand. Slide that left hand up toward their elbow. Take a short arm grip. There it is. With this left-handed short arm grip, I want you to walk all the way around your corner. As soon as you see your partner, drop hands, step forward, face your partner. You've just done a alamand left with your corner. Turn around, face your corner again. Hello, corner. Do an alamand left at your corner. Left hand, short arm, all the way around, back to your partner. When you meet your partner, reach out and shake right hands. Do a right hand pull by. Straight ahead, do a left hand pull by with dancer number two. Right hand with number three, do a right hand pull by. Left hand pull by with number four. And you should meet your original partner again on the opposite side of the square. Boys, you're facing counterclockwise. Ladies, we need you to stand on this boy's right hand side. Turn around and face the same direction as him. Take hands with him and promenade counterclockwise around your square back to your original home. One, two, three, or four spot. Once you get there, turn and face back in. You've just done a right and left grand followed by a promenade. From here, everybody turn to face your corner. With your corner, do an alamand left with your corner. Come back and do a right and left grand. Right pull by. Left pull by is two. Right pull by is three. Left pull by is four. You meet your original partner. Put her on your right. Promenade her back home. Perfect. So far, so good. <laughs> All right, here we go. Are you ready to do it with music? You bow to your partners, you turn and bow to your corner too. Join hands, circle to the left around that ring, circle to the left around and go. Circle to the right till you get back home. When you get back home, face your corner. Do an alaban left with your corner. With your partner, do -si do go back to back. 
Go back to your corner. Do an Alabama left. Then a right and left grand. Right pull by. Left pull by. Right. Left. With your partner, promenade. You're going to put her on your right. Then you take her back home. Join hands, circle to the left, around that ring, circle to the left, start with your corner. Do an Alabama left with your corner. With your partner, do -si do go back to back. Go back to your corner, do an Alabama left. Then a right and left grand, right, left, right, left. Promenade with your partner, take her back home, all back home, and you got her back there, all back home, and you got your squares. All right, from here, couples two and four, you all are known as the side couples. So when we ask the sides to do something, we want both couples two and four to do whatever it is that we're working with. Couples number one and three, you guys are known as the head couples. When we ask the heads to do something, we want couples one and three to do whatever it is that we're asking. From here, we've all done promenade already. You and your partner get to go counterclockwise around our square to whatever your final destination. And up to this point, it has been your home position that we've been promenading to. This is where it's going to change. We're going to have just the head couples. So just couples one and three. We're going to have you guys promenade. But because you're already home, we have to give you a destination. Your destination is going to be the opposite head position halfway around your square. So you and your partner are going to go counterclockwise around behind the side couples to the opposite head position. To make it simpler for them sides, you and your partner are going to step into the middle. So all the sides step into the middle. In the middle. There you go. Just step in. Don't go too far. Just right. Perfect. All we're doing is we're getting you out of the way so that the heads don't have quite so far to walk to get around behind you. Head couples promenade behind those sides to the opposite head position. Sides, once they get out from behind you, you can back up into your original home position. And our head couples have traded from one head position to the opposite head position. And our sides are right back where they originally began. We can do the very same movements with the side two couples. If the sides promenade from one side position to the opposite side position, our head couples are all going to step into the middle. So heads step into the middle. Side you and your partner promenade counterclockwise to the opposite side position. Once they get out from behind you heads, you can back up into that original spot where you started. And we've all traded places from one side to the opposite side of our square. One more time. Head two couples promenade halfway. Sides go to the middle. Heads promenade around them. There it is. Side two couples promenade halfway. Heads in the middle, sides to the other side. Perfect. Join hands, circle to the left around that ring, circle to the left. Do an Alabama left with your corner. Then a right and left grand. Right, left is two, right is three, left is four. Find your partner, promenade. Put her on your right, then you take her back home. Heads up to the middle, and you come on back. Heads back to the middle. And since you guys have all done this before, we're just going to do it really quick. Reach out and take right hands. Do a right hand pull by. Left hands with the girl standing next to you. Right hands on her back. Courtesy turn to girl. You turn halfway around. Perfect. You don't need any more work on that. Sides. You all are the new people. Sides step into the middle. With the dancer directly in front of you, reach out and shake right hands. With that dancer, do a right hand pull by. Pull straight past them. You will be facing out in the opposite side position. You'll still be facing out. There we go. Side boys, left hand, palm up in front of this lady on your right. Palm up, up. There you go. Ladies, place your left hand on his left hand. Ladies, place your right hand on the small of your back. Boys, reach around her waist. Put your hand on her hand. The girls will go forward. The boys will back up. The two of you will turn halfway around. Do a courtesy turn. There it is. The combination of the right hand pull by followed by the courtesy turn actually has one name. We call that combination a right and a left through. So instead of me having to say heads do a right hand pull by and then saying heads do a courtesy turn, I can simply say heads do a right and left through and it's your job to know that that means you must first do the pull by and then do the turn. And that's basically how score dance movements are built. We take a bunch of simple movements, pull bys and turns, put them in a particular order, give them a name. When I give you that name, you then have to be able to repeat that order. So from here, heads do a right and left through. First do the pull by, then do the turn. Sides, do a right and a left through. Right hand pull by, 
Courtesy turn. She goes forward, he backs up, two of you turn halfway around, and we're all facing back into the center of our square. Something like that. Head couples promenade halfway. Heads do a right and left through. Pull by, turn. Perfect. Side couples promenade halfway. Sides do a right and left through. Right pull by, courtesy turn. Join hands, circle to the left around that ring, circle to the left around and go. Do an Alabama left. Do a do -si do with your partner back to back. Go back to your corner, do an Alabama left. Then a right and left grand, right pull by, then a left, then a right, then a left. Promenade with your partner, take her back home all the way around. We're gonna do one more here. Head two ladies, step in the middle, take right hands with each other, do a right hand pull by. The head boy will give you a left hand, slide in there next to you, courtesy turn you all the way around. And we end up facing back into the center of our square and our head ladies have traded from one head position to the opposite head position. We're gonna do that one more time. Head two ladies, chain, right hand with each other. Boy, give her a left hand, courtesy turn that girl all the way around and all of our heads are right back to where they were. They go fast when we do this, don't they? <laughs> From here, side two ladies, step into the middle. Right hands with each other, do a right hand pull by. Boys, give her a left hand, right hand on her back. Courtesy turn that girl from the opposite side. She becomes your partner, and we're all facing back into the center of the square. One more time, side two ladies chain, right hand with each other. Boy, give her a left hand. Courtesy turn that girl from the other side, all the way around, back to our original home positions. Everybody's back where they started. Head two ladies chain straight across. Right hands, left with the boy, courtesy turn. Side two ladies chain, right hands, left with the boy, courtesy turner. There it is, something like that. All four ladies step into the middle, put a right hand up, make a right hand star. Turn that star one half until you get back to your original partner. He will give you a left hand, he will courtesy turn you. And we are all now facing back into the center of our square. So far, so good. Sides go up to the middle and you come on back. Sides do a right and left through. Right pull by with a courtesy turn. Pull by, courtesy turn, courtesy turn. There we go. Heads do a right and left through. Right pull by, courtesy turn. Head two ladies chain straight across. Side two ladies chain straight across. Courtesy turn that girl from the other side. Four ladies chain straight across. Make a star in the middle. Turn your original partner. Join hands, circle to the left around that ring. Circle to the left around and go. Do an Alabama left with your corner. Then a right and left grand. Well, every other girl and every other hand. Right and left go round the ring. Promenade when you meet. Gonna put her on your right. Then you take her back home. All back home. And you got her back there. All back home. Bow to your partners. You turn and bow to your corners. Thank them all. Good job. Give them a hand, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Wonderful. Mark, Mark, before you leave, would you like to plug your presentations tomorrow? Um, my presentations? Um, well, yeah, at noon and um, at four. At noon, I will be uh, talking about how I actually managed to run the network in this uh, mess. Um, well, the hotel promised me 30 meg, and they gave me about two. <laughs> So uh, less than great. I'm, I'm also really drunk. Also, at 4 o'clock, and promises to be more interesting, anybody who cares about IP routing, uh, Jeff Koki smith and I will be talking about anything. It's a Q&A session. Bring your questions. Actually, the more esoteric, the better. I promise to be sober for that. <laughs> Maybe.
Thank you. And as we stress the fact of this being a family activity, in most I'm cases, going back to there work. is very little drinking at the square dance. <laughs> <laughs> there are folks that drink after the square dance, but it gets a little difficult when you drink before or during. <laughs> so. I didn't realize he was partying already. <laughs> <laughs> Jerry, Jerry, oh, there you are. <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't know all these people I'm dancing with yet. <laughs> I've talked to him lots of times, but that doesn't mean I know him. All right, now. Uh, well, I'm trying to find. <laughs> okay, that doesn't want to be there. Um, do we want to open that folder? Yes. Yeah, not a con. Uh, Four. Yeah. There we go. Okay. Okay, I just did this the other day, so I hope all the graphics work. Uh, I was asked to talk about the history of square dancing. A lot of dancers know most of it. Uh, some don't. So, uh, here goes. Square dancing is our national dance, and it's also the state dance of a lot of states. Uh, in the form we know it today, it's been around for about 100 years, but its roots go back even further to about 500 years ago. Early roots uh, take us back to the late 15th century in England, where square dancing primarily is team dancing. It had its roots in a dance form called the Morris Dance, which hopefully that works. Uh, Morris dancing was a team dance primarily done by men. All synchronized, uh, they used like props like sticks, swords, handkerchiefs, bells, anything they could to make it a hoop and holler. But it was synchronized and it was our early roots. It's still performed today uh, in festivals. In the early 1700s, dancing was becoming a popular form of recreation both for men and women. Uh, mostly stylized in England and in France. Okay. Mostly in England and in France. Uh, it was enjoyed by all classes of people, both the nobility and the peasants. So we got that. <laughs> okay. Uh, it was also termed country dancing back then, but there was a corruption of the word country and somehow it became contra. So it was contra dancing, which still exists today all over the place. Uh, most of you have probably seen contra at one time or another. In the late 18th century, contra dancing became very stylized among the mobility, a nob nobility both overseas and in colonial America and it enjoyed popularity in the forms of cotillions and quadrilles, which were a French dance done with four couples. Kind of resembles what we do, doesn't it? <laughs> okay. Uh, the dance enjoyed popularity uh, all, all over the United States until uh, America won its independence, which Okay. It's okay, I might have skipped a few. I don't remember that the graphics were slow. Uh, okay, after America won independence, it started creating its own unique dance forms, such as the Virginia Reel, and in, and which was done in the South, and also circle dancing, which was done in Appalachia which there's the Virginia Reel, and circle dancing, which was done in Appalachia, and that's still done today, and Virginia Reel is also still done. It's uh, a, con a form of contra dancing. Many people uh, being new to this activity, these dances were done like at special occasions, so they brought in someone called a dance master. Dance masters, as I read, they were a dime a dozen, supposedly. And uh, they would come in and teach the people how to do the dance before the dance actually took place. 
during the dance, a lot of people might have forgotten steps. So the dance master would be on the side yelling out them, uh, the co like calls to go one way, go left, go right. That's how the caller was born, and hence the beginning of caller and the beginning of square dancing as we know it. Uh, these dances are still enjoy enjoyed today. Although the, the dances also sur survived until the late 1800s, uh, mostly in Appalachia and rural New England. In the early 20th century, Americans embraced new dances, which were the rage at the time, such as the polka, the waltz, uh, two-step foxtrot, and many more. By the time the 1920s came around, there was a fellow that we know, Henry Ford. And For Henry Ford happened to be vacationing in the New England states, and he met a man called Lloyd Shaw, who at the time was one of the experts on uh, country dancing and western dancing uh, in the country. Henry Ford was very impressed with Lloyd Shaw, so much so that he wanted him to come to Detroit to teach dancing at a dance hall. Uh, Lloyd Shaw said he was employed at the lodge and, and he had a contract, so Henry Ford didn't want to be outdone. He bought the lodge and said, you now work for me, you're going to Detroit. And they taught these country dances, both like clogging and um, all of the others. And that's how they dressed in the 1920s to square dance. They, they wore flapper dresses and tuxedos. And that whole area from the 1920s through the 30s this was known as the Lloyd Shaw era. Uh, they enjoyed popularity mostly in rural America. Uh, wasn't very popular outside of Detroit in the big cities. And mostly back then they danced to live bands and callers with the megaphone. They really didn't have uh, cheap amplification then, so they used a megaphone. The Lloyd Shaw era came to an end like around the beginning of World War II because the country had other things on their mind. After World War II, Henry Ford was still determined to popularize the activity and he hired publicists to, bring, uh, to help bring the activity into major cities and make it more appealing to a changing lifestyle and utilize new technologies such as portable phonographs and powerful PA systems. Okay, in the 1950s, that's the rock and roll era, square dancing was fairly popular in the early 50s. They had uh, kids groups, uh, adults, it, all kinds of young people groups. It made headlines in newspapers, as you see. Uh, but by the mid-50s, a new form of music came out called rock and roll. That won over many young people. So square dancing, although still popular, it uh, was losing the young audience. So, uh, square dancing did survive, but it wasn't growing with the young crowd back then. In the 60s, some might recognize some of these. <laughs> in the 60s, they even used it for advertising, as you see in the center, uh, and they decided they needed to standardize things because back then the calls, uh, as Sue Ellen said, were not standardized, so a group was formed called Caller Lab, which most of you have heard of, and they basically standardized the calls uh, also, up until that time, there was no standard square dance dress. Different areas wore different clothes, and uh, it really was the rule was wear your Sunday best. So they decided to make it appeal to young people, they would dress like the rock and roll people. And what did the girls wear? But they wore the big dresses. They took that and they modified them and dressed them up, and that was the start of what was currently used up until now, and it's really a, so getting to be a sore spot for a lot of dancers. There's arguments. The best thing is leave it alone. People will wear what they want, and we all are one happy family anyway. 
in the late 90s, that was the argument that started of changing clothes to different uh, styles. And little by little it happened. As you see, there's a great variety that's worn. Uh, we're all having fun dancing, and that's the most important thing about square dancing is the fellowship we share and uh, the fact that we all can have fun with the dance. And that's about it until the present day, which is here. And if it works, that's it. A modern square dance. Thank you. Yes, I was going to mention for those who aren't aware, this is considered proper square dance attire if you're going to a national or state convention. But they have relaxed it some. Does anybody have on a, you have a longer skirt. Um, uh, I lost the word. What am I looking for? Prairie skirts, yes. All I could think of was peasant. It's like, that's not right. It's a peasant blouse, not a skirt. Prairie skirts are also acceptable. Um, there are a lot of dances that are casual, so you just wear whatever you want. You're not a con t-shirt if you'd like. <laughs> when, at some point, I came across some comments online, which actually I think applies to life as well. Oh, it's rolling. Okay. All right. Well, okay. We're here. I, uh, I got hit pause again. At first, when you're learning to dance, you need someone to help you through the calls, as those who were up here for the first time have found out. You need a partner to help you, or at least somebody else in the group. Uh, in square dancing, experienced dancers go to uh, lessons, and they're called angels, because they're helping you through. Eventually, you get to the point where you can do the calls yourself, but you can't help anybody else. It's like, okay, I know how to do that, but how do I tell somebody else how to do it? I can't. Then you get to the point where you can help others through the calls. At that point, it's time to move on to the next level and start all over again. Score them up. Would a square let us know if they need anybody else? <laughs> All filled up. All right, here we go, Yellow Rock, your corner. Do a do 
rosy do with the outside too. Star through. She's gonna pass through when you bend your lines up to the middle and you come on back past the ocean. AC Ducey. Relay your Ducey. Not to trip over the wires over there. Swing through. Boy, run around the girls. Now the couple will circulate one time. Thank you. She's gonna bend your lines up to the middle and you come on back. Pass through to the wheel and deal. Double pass through track. Toot. Two. Swing through. <laughs> Boy, run around the girl. Girls hinge, check a diamond, diamond circulate. Flip your diamonds, ladies trade. To a linear cycle, hinge, fold, pass, peel. She's gonna pass through and you bend your line up to the middle and you come on back, load the boat. Swing through. Then the boys run around a brand new girls couple circulate one time. She's gonna bend your lines up and back. Touch quarter, circulate once. Boy run around the girls, do an Alabama left. Then a right and left grand. Well, every other girl and every other hand, right and left go round. Promenade when you meet, gonna get her back home. All back home and you got her back there, all back home. Sides go up to the middle and you come on back. Sides lead to the right, veer to the left. Crossfire. Circulate once. Boy, run around the girls. Pass through, trade by. Swing through with the outside two. Boy, run around the girls. Now the couple will circulate one time. Do a half tag. Scoot back. Boys in. Hinge a quarter. Fan the top. Girl left. All the boys move up. Got a tidal wave. Grand swing through. Hinge a quarter. Boy, run, pass through, trade by, star through. She's gonna pass the ocean. Spin chain, exchange your gears. We need a leader. Follow that leader all the way over. All the boys circulate one time. Swing through. Boy, run around the girls. Couple circulate this way. Chain down the line when you turn yours now. Turn mine. Ladies lead, Dixie style. Good lefty wave. Boys trade. Left swing through. Now the girls run around the boys. And the couples circulate this way. Now the boys trade. Boys run around the girls. Girls trade. Swing through. All the girls fold. Peel the top. To the right and left through when you turn right here. She's gonna pass through when you bend your lines up to the middle and you come on back, star through. Dive in, new center square if you go three quarter round. Single circle, both hands, make an ocean wave, boys trade, boys run around a brand new girl and a couple circulate one time and you bend it, move it eight to the middle and you come on back, slide through. You pass through, do an element left, the old left hand, the partner right and a right and left grand. Well, every other girl and every other hand, right and left go round. Promenade, take her back home. Head square through four. Touch quarter, follow your neighbor to a lefty wave. Left swing through. Then the girls run. Now the couples circulate one time. Gonna bend your line, pass through to the wheel and deal. Double pass through track two. Swing through. Boy run around the girls. Now the couples circulate one way. Ferris wheel. Zoom. New centers pass through, slide through, pass the ocean, swing through. Boy, run around the girls. Girls hinge. Diamond circulate. Cut the diamond. Then the couple 
will circulate one time. Chain down the line will you turn yours and out, turn mine. Lines up to the middle and back, pass through to the wheel and deal. Loose centers pass through to an Alabama left, then a right and left grand. Well, every other girl and every other hand, right and left go round. Promenade when you meet, gonna take her back home. All back home and you got her back there, all back home. You got your square body, your partners, you turn and body your corners. All righty. Stir your buckets.
dream lover so I don't have to dream alone. All right, stir them up. We're going to do another one. You ready, Tom? <laughs> All right. Side space, Grand Square. I met her on a Monday and my heart stood still. They do run, 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 they do run, run. Somebody told me that her name was Jill. They do run, 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 they do run, run. Four ladies priming, they'd go inside the ring. You get back home swinging all promenade And when I walked her home They do run, 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 they do run, run The head square through, count me four hands and go You find your corner and you do a little do-si-do -si -do. Look her in the eye, star through They go forward, up and back You pass through, bend the line Load the boat Yeah, she looks so fine Swing that corner, lady, promenade her in time. And when I walked her home, they do run, 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 they do run, run. The head square through, count me four hands and go. You find your corner and you do a little do -si do Look her in the eye, star through, go forward, up and back. Pass through, bend the line, load the boat. Yeah, she looks so fine. Swing that corner, lady, promenade her in time. And when I walked her home, they do run, run, run. They side space Grand Square. Swinging on promenade And when I walked her home They do run, run, run They do run, run Side square through Count me four hands and go You find your corner And you do a little do -si do Look her in the eye, star through Forward, up, and back Pass through, bend the line Load the boat Yeah, she looks so fine Swing that corner, lady, promenade her in time. And when I walked her home, they do run, 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 they do run, run. Side square through, count me four hands and go. You find your corner and you do a little do -si do Look her in the eye, star through. Go forward, up and back. Pass through, bend the line. Load the boat. Yeah, she looks so fine. Swing your corner, lady, promenade her in time. And when I walked her home, they do run, run, run. They side space Grand Square. I met her on a Monday and my heart stood still. They do run, run, run. They do run, run. Somebody told me that her name was Jill. They do run, run, run. They do run, run. Four boys promenade go inside the rain. You get back home swinging all promenade. And when I walked her home, they do run, 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 they do run, run. Swinger do run, 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 they do run, run. They do run, 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 they do run, run.
I had mentioned some national conventions before. At the height of square dancing, when there were the most people involved, there was almost 40,000 people who attended the one in Anaheim, California. Of course, I understand that one of the after parties was at Disneyland. Might have had something to do with it. <laughs> in Louisville two years ago, there was six, almost 6,300. Detroit last year, only 37, 37. All year, and for the previous four or five years, we kept fighting, we're not going to Detroit. It's not safe. We're not going to Detroit. We're not going to Detroit. Already, which I had here on another slide, um, there's about 6,500 pre-registered to go to Spokane, Washington. Apparently, they're not afraid of Spokane. Modern Western square dancing is divided into levels, which you kind of mentioned a little bit. Uh, mainstream is part of what we've been doing here. The first lessons are all going to be mainstream, and you learn about 69 calls. Now, it might sound like a lot, but you'll find that a lot of them are combinations of things you just learned. The plus calls then go from number 70 to about 100. Above that, you have several advanced levels, and then even more challenge levels. Most of us never even get to advanced, but we try. Western square dancing, or square dancing in general, has been declared the official dance in a lot of states, and some of them even have special license plates. Look at me. Uh, the ones that are on here are Missouri, Maryland, West Virginia, Washington, and North Carolina. Michigan has had one, and I think a couple other states have as well. Yeah, Pennsylvania, okay. But these were the ones I found pictures of. If you don't have a picture online, you're not going to get in here. Oh, we started out with the next one. Just some more audience participation. Well, we'll grab a few out of the halls again. We're going to have another audience participation, so grab somebody and go, go out in the hall if need be and find them. Come on down. We'll teach you everything you need to know. Come on in. You can do it. That's not a prerequisite, though. <laughs> We'll get you through it. Well, I'm not, but maybe. Is he is he calling for help? Is that <laughs> Come on down, we need some dancers. Come on in, we'll teach you everything you need to know. If you if you know right and left and can walk, we'll get you through the rest of it. So ladies and gentlemen, come on. If the if the she male from Doom can do this, come on, get up here. <laughs> come on down. One, two, we need two pair in the middle in the front. We need two more and here comes one. We need one pair in the middle in the front. We need one more. Come on down. Come on in. We need one more group. One more. One, two, we need one pair over here, over there. We need one more, gonna fill your floor. One couple in the front, we need one pair. Come on down in the here and there. Come on in. Couple couples in the back, they need to fill another one. We need three more couples, even if they're just advanced, plus couples. Come on out. Couple couples, fill them up. We need 
one more couple in the middle in the back. We need one pair in the middle and a go and a here and there. We got them. All right. All right, here we go. We're going to start all over just like we did the last time. So we've got all of our squares together, boys on the left, girls on the right. If you don't know who your partner is, turn face your partner, introduce yourself to your partner. Hello, partner. All right, those of you with your backs toward me, I'm the caller. My name's Tom. Raise your hands, please. You guys are couple number one. We then work our way counterclockwise around our square. The couple to their right, you guys are couple number two. The couple directly across from them are facing me. You guys are couple number three. And those of you with your backs toward the room, you guys are couple number four. Now, the spot that you're standing in is known as your home position. Your one, two, three, or four spot is your home position. So, when we ask you to come back home, this is where we want you to go. Everybody turn to face your partner. Hi, partner. With your partner, what I want you to do is I want you to pass right shoulders with your partner. Without turning around, back up to pass the back up a little bit. Without turning around, slide back to back, back up to pass left shoulders, and come back and face your partner again. I can almost say that. What you've just done is what we call a do -si do From here, do a do -si do with your partner. Pass right shoulders, slide back to back, back up to pass left shoulders, come back to your partner. Perfect. Turn your back on your partner. The dancer on the other side of you is your corner. Introduce yourself to your corner. Try not to fall off of those heels, please. <laughs> Introduce yourself to your corner, high corner. What I want you to do, do a do -si do with your corner. Pass right shoulders, slide back to back, back up to pass left shoulders, and you'll be looking at your corner again. You've just done a do -si do perfect. With your corner, reach out and shake left hands, slide that left hand up toward their elbow, take a short arm grip. There it is. With this left-handed short arm grip, I want you to walk all the way around your corner. As soon as you see your partner, drop hands, step forward, face your partner. You've just done a alamand left with your corner. Turn around, face your corner again. Hello, corner. Do an alamand left to your corner. Left hand, short arm, all the way around, back to your partner. When you meet your partner, reach out and shake right hands. Do a right hand pull by. Straight ahead, do a left hand pull by with dancer number two. Right hand with number three, do a right hand pull by. Left hand pull by with number four. And you should meet your original partner again on the opposite side of the square. Boys, you're facing counterclockwise. Ladies, we need you to stand on this boy's right hand side. Turn around to face the same direction as him. Take hands with him and promenade counterclockwise around your square back to your original home. One, two, three, or four spot. Once you get there, turn and face back in. You've just done a right and a left grand followed by a promenade. From here, everybody turn to face your corner. With your corner, do an alamand left with your corner. Come back and do a right and left grand. Right pull by, left pull by is two, right pull by is three, left pull by is four. You meet your original partner, put her on your right, promenade her back home. Perfect. So far, so good. <laughs> All right, here we go. Are you ready to do it with music? You bow to your partners, you turn and bow to your corner too. Join hands, circle to the left around that ring, circle to the left around and go. Circle to the right till you get back home. When you get back home, face your corner. Do an alaband left with your corner. With your partner, do -si do go back to back. Go back to your corner. Do an alaband left. Then a right and left grand, right pull by. Left pull by, right, left. With your partner, promenade. You're gonna put her on your right, then you take her back home. Join hands, circle to the left, around that ring, circle to the left. Start with your corner. Do an alamand left with your corner. With your partner, do -si do go back to back. Go back to your corner, do an alamand left. Then a right and left grand, right, left. Right, left, promenade with your partner, take her back home, all back home, and you got her back there, all back home, and you got your squares. All right, from here, couples two and four, you all are known as the side couples. So when we ask the sides to do something, we want both couples two and four to do whatever it is that we're working with. Couples number one and three, you guys are known as the head couples. When we ask the heads to do something, we want couples one and three to do whatever it is that we're asking. From here, we've all done promenade already. You and your partner get to go counterclockwise around our square to whatever your final destination. And up to this point, it has been your home position that we've been promenading 
two. This is where it's going to change. We're going to have just the head couples, so just couples one and three. We're going to have you guys promenade. But because you're already home, we have to give you a destination. Your destination is going to be the opposite head position halfway around your square. So you and your partner are going to go counterclockwise around behind the side couples to the opposite head position. To make it simpler for them sides, you and your partner are going to step into the middle. So all the sides step into the middle. In the middle. There you go. Just step in. Don't go too far. Just right. Perfect. All we're doing is we're getting you out of the way so that the heads don't have quite so far to walk to get around behind you. Head couples promenade behind those sides to the opposite head position. Sides, once they get out from behind you, you can back up into your original home position. And our head couples have traded from one head position to the opposite head position. And our sides are right back where they originally began. We can do the very same movements with the side two couples. If the sides promenade from one side position to the opposite side position, our head couples are all going to step into the middle. So heads step into the middle. Side you and your partner promenade counterclockwise to the opposite side position. Once they get out from behind you heads, you can back up into that original spot where you started. And we've all traded places from one side to the opposite side of our square. One more time. Head two couples promenade halfway. Sides go to the middle. Heads promenade around them. There it is. Side two couples promenade halfway, heads in the middle, sides to the other side. Perfect. Join hands, circle to the left around that ring, circle to the left. Do an Alabama left, could you corner? Then a right and left grand. Right, left is two, right is three, left is four. Find your partner, promenade. Put her on your right, then you take her back home. All right, heads up to the middle, and you come on back. Heads back to the middle. And since you guys have all done this before, we're just going to do it really quick. Reach out and take right hands, do a right hand pull by. Left hands with the girl standing next to you, right hands on her back, courtesy turn the girl, you turn halfway around. Perfect. You don't need any more work on that. Sides, you all are the new people. Sides, step into the middle. With the dancer directly in front of you, reach out and shake right hands. With that dancer, do a right hand pull by. Pull straight past them. You will be facing out in the opposite side position. You'll still be facing out. There we go. Side boys, left hand, palm up in front of this lady on your right. Palm up, up. There you go. Ladies, place your left hand on his left hand. Ladies, place your right hand on the small of your back. Boys, reach around her waist. Put your hand on her hand. The girls will go forward. The boys will back up. The two of you will turn halfway around. Do a courtesy turn. There it is. The combination of the right hand pull by followed by the courtesy turn actually has one name. We call that combination a right and left through. So instead of me having to say heads do a right hand pull by and then saying heads do a courtesy turn, I can simply say heads do a right and left through and it's your job to know that that means you must first do the pull by and then do the turn. And that's basically how score dance movements are built. We take a bunch of simple movements, pull bys and turns, put them in a particular order, give them a name. When I give you that name, you then have to be able to repeat that order. So from here, heads do a right and left through. First do the pull by, then do the turn. Sides, do a right and left through. Right hand pull by, courtesy turn. She goes forward, he backs up, two of you turn halfway around, and we're all facing back into the center of our square. Something like that. Head couples promenade halfway. Heads, do a right and left through. Pull by, turn. Perfect. Side couples promenade halfway. Sides do a right and left through, right pull by, courtesy turn. Join hands, circle to the left around that ring, circle to the left around and go. Do an Alabama left. Do a do -si do with your partner, back to back. Go back to your corner, do an Alabama left. Then a right and left grand, right pull by, then a left, then a right, then a left. Promenade with your partner, take her back home all the way around. We're going to do one more here. Head two ladies. Step in the middle. Take right hands with each other. Do a right hand pull by. The head boy will give you a left hand. Slide in there next to you. Courtesy turn you all the way around. 
And we end up facing back into the center of our square, and our head ladies have traded from one head position to the opposite head position. We're going to do that one more time. Head two ladies chain, right hand with each other. Boy, give her a left hand, courtesy turn that girl all the way around, and all of our heads are right back to where they were. They go fast when we do this, don't they? <laughs> from here, side two ladies step into the middle. Right hands with each other, do a right hand pull by. Boys, give her a left hand, right hand on her back, courtesy turn that girl from the opposite side. She becomes your partner, and we're all facing back into the center of the square. One more time, side two ladies chain, right hand with each other. Boy, give her a left hand, courtesy turn that girl from the other side, all the way around, back to our original home positions. Everybody's back where they started. Head two ladies chain, straight across. Right hands, left with the boy, courtesy turn. Side two ladies chain, right hands, left with the boy, courtesy turner. There it is, something like that. All four ladies step into the middle, put a right hand up, make a right hand star. Turn that star one half until you get back to your original partner. He will give you a left hand, he will courtesy turn you. And we are all now facing back into the center of our square. So far, so good. Sides go up to the middle and you come on back. Sides do a right and left through. Right pull by with a courtesy turn. Pull by, courtesy turn, courtesy turn. There we go. Heads do a right and left through. Right pull by, courtesy turn. Head two ladies chain straight across. Side two ladies chain straight across. Courtesy turn that girl from the other side. Chain straight across. Make a star in the middle. Turn your original partner. Join hands. Circle to the left around that ring. Circle to the left around and go. Do an Alabama left with your corner. Then a right and left grand. Well, every other girl and every other hand. Right and left go round the ring. Promenade when you meet. Gonna put her on your right. Then you take her back home. All back home. And you got her back there. All back home. Bow to your partners. You turn and bow to your corners. Thank them all. Good job. Give them a hand, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Wonderful. Okay. Mark, Mark, before you leave, would you like to plug your presentations tomorrow? Um, my presentations? Um, well, yeah, at noon and um, at four. At noon, I will be uh, talking about how I actually managed to run a network in this uh, mess. Um, well, the hotel promised me 30 meg, and they gave me about two. <laughs> So uh, less than great. I'm, I'm also really drunk. Also, at 4 o'clock, and promises to be more interesting, anybody who cares about IP routing, uh, Jeff Cookie Smith and I will be talking about anything. It's a Q&A session. Bring your questions. Actually, the more esoteric, the better. I promise to be sober for that. <laughs> Maybe. Thank you. And as we stress the fact of this being a family activity, in most I'm cases, going back to there work. is very little drinking at the square dance. <laughs> <laughs> there are folks that drink after the square dance, but it gets a little difficult when you drink before or during. <laughs> I didn't realize he was partying already. <laughs> and Jerry... Jerry? Oh, there you are. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't know all these people I'm dancing with yet. You may not want to know me. <laughs> I've talked to him lots of times, but that doesn't mean I know him. All right, now. Uh, well, I'm trying to find. <laughs> okay, that doesn't want to be there. Um, do we want to open that folder? Yes. Not a con. Four. Yeah. There we go. Okay. Okay, I just did this the other day, so I hope all the graphics work. Uh, I was asked to talk about the history of square dancing. A lot of dancers know most of it. Uh, some don't. So uh, here goes. Square dancing is our national dance, and it's also the state dance of a lot of states. Uh, in the form we know it today, it's been around for about 100 years, 
but its roots go back even further to about 500 years ago. Early roots uh, take us back to the late 15th century in England, where square dancing primarily is team dancing. It had its roots in a dance form called the Morris Dance, which hopefully that works. Uh, Morris dancing was a team dance primarily done by men. All synchronized, uh, they used like props like sticks, swords, handkerchiefs, bells, anything they could to make it a hoop and holler. But it was synchronized and it was our early roots. It's still performed today uh, in festivals. In the early 1700s, Dancing was becoming a popular form of recreation, both for men and women, uh, mostly stylized in England and in France. Okay. Mostly in England and in France. Uh, it was enjoyed by all classes of people, both the nobility and the peasants. So we got that. <laughs> Okay. Uh, it was also termed country dancing back then, but there was a corruption of the word country and somehow it became contra. So it was contra dancing, which still exists today all over the place. Uh, most of you have probably seen contra at one time or another. In the late 18th century, contra dancing became very stylized among the mobility a nobi nobility both overseas and in colonial America, and it enjoyed popularity in the forms of cotillions and quadrilles, which were a French dance done with four couples. Kind of resembles what we do, doesn't it? <laughs> okay. Uh, the dance enjoyed popularity uh, all, all over the United States until uh, America won its independence. Which, okay. It's, okay, I might have skipped a few. I don't remember that the graphics were slow. Uh, okay, after America won independence, it started creating its own unique dance forms, such as the Virginia Reel, and, in, and which was done in the South, and also circle dancing, which was done in Appalachia, which there's the Virginia Reel, and circle dancing, which was done in Appalachia, and that's still done today, and Virginia Reel is also still done. It's uh, a, a form of contra dancing. Many people uh, being new to this activity, these dances were done like at special occasions. So they brought in someone called a dance master. Dance masters, as I read, they were a dime a dozen, supposedly. And uh, they would come in and teach the people how to do the dance before the dance actually took place. During the dance, a lot of people might have forgotten steps. So the dance master would be on the side yelling out them, uh, the co like calls to go one way, go left, go right. That's how the caller was born, and hence the beginning of caller and the beginning of square dancing as we know it. Uh, these dances are still enjoy, enjoyed today. Although the, the dances also sur survived until the late 1800s, uh, mostly in Appalachia and rural New England. In the early 20th century, Americans embraced new dances which were the rage at the time, such as the polka, the waltz, uh, two-step, foxtrot, and many more. By the time the 1920s came around, there was a fellow that we know, Henry Ford. And For Henry Ford happened to be vacationing in the New England states, and he met a man called Lloyd Shaw, who at the time was one of the experts on uh, country dancing and western dancing, uh, in the country. Henry Ford was very impressed with Lloyd Shaw, so much so that he wanted him to come to Detroit to teach dancing at a dance hall. Uh, Lloyd Shaw said he was employed at the lodge and, and he had a contract, so 
Henry Ford didn't want to be outdone. He bought the lodge and said, you now work for me, you're going to Detroit. And they taught these country dances, both like clogging and um, all of the others. And that's how they dressed in the 1920s to square dance. They, they wore flapper dresses and tuxedos. And that whole area from the 1920s through the 30s, this was known as the Lloyd Shaw era. Uh, they enjoyed popularity mostly in rural America. Uh, wasn't very popular outside of Detroit in the big cities. And mostly back then they danced to live bands and callers with a megaphone. They really didn't have uh, cheap amplification then, so they used a megaphone. The Lloyd Shaw era came to an end like around the beginning of World War II because the country had other things on their mind. After World War II, Henry Ford was still determined to popularize the activity, and he hired publicists to, bring, uh, to help bring the activity into major cities and make it more appealing to a changing lifestyle and utilize new technologies such as portable phonographs and powerful PA systems. Okay, in the 1950s, that's the rock and roll era, Square dancing was fairly popular in the early 50s. They had uh, kids groups, uh, adults, it, all kinds of young people groups. It made headlines in newspapers, as you see. Uh, but by the mid-50s, a new form of music came out called rock and roll. That won over many young people. So square dancing, although still popular, it uh, was losing the young audience. Uh, square dancing did survive, but it wasn't growing with the young crowd back then. In the 60s, some might recognize some of these. In the 60s, they even used it for advertising, as you see in the center. Uh, and they decided they needed to standardize things because back then the calls, uh, as Sue Ellen said, were not standardized, so a group was formed called Caller Lab, which most of you have heard of. And they basically standardized the calls. Uh, also, up until that time, there was no standard square dance dress. Different areas wore different clothes, and uh, it really was the rule was wear your Sunday best. So they decided to make it appeal to young people, they would dress like the rock and roll people. And what did the girls wear? But they wore the big dresses. They took that and they modified them and dressed them up and that was the start of what was currently used up until now. And it's really a, so getting to be a sore spot for a lot of dancers, there's arguments. The best thing is leave it alone, people will wear what they want and we all are one happy family anyway. In the late 90s, that was the argument that started of changing clothes to different uh, styles. And little by little it happened. As you see, there's a great variety that's worn. Uh, we're all having fun dancing and that's the most important thing about square dancing is the fellowship we share and uh, the fact that we all can have fun with the dance. And that's about it until the present day, which is here. And if it works, that's it. A modern square dance. Thank you. Yes, I was going to mention for those who aren't aware, this is considered proper square dance attire if you're going to a national or state convention.
but they have relaxed it some. Does anybody have on a, you have a longer skirt. Um, uh, I lost the word, what am I looking for? Prairie skirts, yes. All I could think of was peasant. It's like, that's not right, it's a peasant blouse, not a skirt. Prairie skirts are also acceptable. Um, there are a lot of dances that are casual, so you just wear whatever you want. You're not a con t-shirt if you'd like. When, at some point I came across some comments online, which actually I think applies to life as well. Oh, it's rolling, okay. All right, well, okay, we're, we're here. I, uh, I got hit pause again. At first, when you're learning to dance, you need someone to help you through the calls, as those who were up here for the first time have found out. You need a partner to help you, or at least somebody else in the group. Uh, in square dancing, experienced dancers go to uh, lessons, and they're called angels, because they're helping you through. Eventually, you get to the point where you can do the calls yourself, but you can't help anybody else. It's like, okay, I know how to do that, but how do I tell somebody else how to do it? I can't. Then you get to the point where you can help others through the calls. At that point, it's time to move on to the next level and start all over again. Square them up. Would a square let us know if they need anybody else? <laughs> All filled up. All right, here we go, Yellow Rock, your corner. Do with the outside too. Star through. She's gonna pass through when you bend your lines up to the middle and you come on back past the ocean. AC Ducey. Relay your Ducey. to trip over the wires over there. Swing through. Boy, run around the girls. Now the couple circulate one time. Thank you. She's gonna bend your lines up to the middle and you come on back. Pass through to the wheel and deal. Double pass through track two. Two. Swing through. <laughs> Boy, run around the girls. Girls hinge, check a diamond, diamond circulate. Flip your diamonds, ladies trade. To a linear cycle, hinge, fold, pass, peel. It's gonna pass through and you bend your line up to the middle and you come on back, load the boat. Swing through. 
Then the boys run around a brand new girls couple circulate one time. She gonna bend your lines up and back. Touch quarter, circulate once. Boy run around the girls, do an Alabama left. Then a right and left grand. Well, every other girl and every other hand, right and left go round. Promenade when you meet, gonna get her back home. All back home, and you got her back there, all back home. Sides go up to the middle, and you come on back. Sides lead to the right, veer to the left. Crossfire. Circulate once. Boy, run around the girls. Pass through, trade by, swing through with the outside two. Boy, run around the girls. Now the couple will circulate one time. Do a half tag, scoot back, boys in. Hinge a quarter, fan the top, girl left, all the boys move up, got a tidal wave. Grand to swing through. Hinge a quarter. Boy, run. Pass through, trade by, star through. She's gonna pass the ocean. Spin chain, exchange your gears. We need a leader. Follow that leader all the way over. Circulate one time. Swing through. Boy, run around the girls. Couple circulate this way. Chain down the line when we turn yours now. Turn mine. Ladies lead, Dixie style. Good lefty wave. Boys trade. Left swing through. Now the girls run around the boys. And the couples circulate this way. Now the boys trade. Boys run around the girls. Girls trade. Swing through. All the girls fold, peel the top. To the right and left through when you turn right here. It's gonna pass through when you bend your lines up to the middle and you come on back, star through. Dive in, new center square if you go three quarter round. Single circle, both hands, make an ocean wave, boys trade, boys run around a brand new girl and a couple circulate one time and you bend it, move it, eight to the middle and you come on back, slide through, you pass through, do an Alabama left, the old left hand, the partner right and a right and left grand, well every other girl and every other hand, right and left go round, promenade, take her back home. Square through four. Touch quarter. Follow your neighbor to a lefty wave. Left swing through. Then the girls run. Now the couples circulate one time. Gonna bend your line, pass through to the wheel and deal. Double pass through track two. Swing through. Now the couple will circulate one way. Ferris wheel. Zoom. New centers pass through, slide through. Pass the ocean. Swing through. Boy run around the girls. Girls hinge. Diamond circulate. Cut the diamond. Then the couple will circulate one time. Chain down the line. Will you turn yours and I'll turn mine? Lines up to the middle and back. Pass through to the wheel and deal. New centers pass through to an Alabama left. Then a right and left grand. Well, every other girl and every other hand. Right and left go round. Promenade when you meet. Gonna take her back home. All back home and you got her back there. All back home you got your square body, your partners. You turn and body your corners. All righty. Stir your buckets.
I started kissing everything in sight. Swing that lady round the promenader tonight. When I kissed the cop down at 34th and Vine, she took my little bottle of love potion number nine. Head couples promenade halfway and go. Walk in square through four hands and go. Four hands and then you do the right and left through. You veer left, Ferris wheel, center square through. You count me three quarter go. Swing that corner lady promenader back home. Oh, when I kissed the cop down at 34th and Vine, she took my little bottle of a love potion number nine. Head couples promenade halfway and go. Wall in square through four hands you know. Four hands and then you do the right and left through. You pass through, trade by star through. Square through, you count me three quarter go. Swing your corner, lady promenader back home. Oh, when I kissed the cop down at 34th and Vine, she took my little bottle of love, a love potion number nine. Four ladies promenade inside that old ring. Swing that man around to sing. You join hand circle to the left, go moving round. Do a left alabama. You weave the ring. I started kissing everything. In